Hi, Peter Hicks from Hicks Brothers Music in Aurora. I'm also today, I am playing a Connie Lea model CS Deluxe T. I picked this instrument up at the NAM show. It is Koa. It is also book matched Koa. It has what they call a slotted headstock. This instrument, by the way, weighs, I, know, I can't even imagine what it weighs, maybe a pound, a pound and a half, maybe. Um, anyway, it has these new, it's a new model for us anyway, it has this new little tiny, little, little tiny tuning pegs called Stealths that Goto has made for them. I've never seen them on any other instrument. Um, it has a rosewood fretboard, abalone inlays in 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. By the way, ukuleles have fret markers at the 10th fret, whereas guitar has a fret marker at the 9th fret. Little known fact. I don't know why, though. I should have asked them why. I keep forgetting to ask them why. So anyway, this instrument... I got some notes here because I can't remember everything about it. They call this a cobra slotted headstock. Cobra slotted. So as you can see, I'm holding up to you. It's very thin. It can't be... This headstock can't be more than... A, not even three quarters of an inch. So it's a little long on this side. As with all Kanilea ukuleles, they're absolutely meticulously built. There's no flaws or imperfections you'll find anywhere in the craftsmanship. You, of course, will find little weird oddities in the wood, but that's because that's what happens with wood. Anyway, this instrument sells for around $1,500. It's very bright and snappy. It also doesn't collapse when you play it hard. The CST Tenor. Hicks Brothers.